India has been tight-lipped about its hypersonic missile development. While much progress has been made in this field, there are very few information available regarding the same in the public domain. In January 2023, it was reported that India has conducted the second flight test of its hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle or HST-DV from the east coast over the Bay of Bengal. The first test was conducted in 2020 where HST-DV was able to successfully demonstrate the hypersonic combustion for more than 20 seconds and it continued on its desired flight path at a velocity of max 6 or nearly 2 km per second. In 2024, DRDO has commenced the fabrication of cruise vehicle for hypersonic cruise missile. Now this means that very soon DRDO is likely to test the hypersonic missile powered by scramjet engine. Unlike the previous HST-DV trial, this one will not be a test vehicle but a full-fledged hypersonic cruise missile prototype. The hypersonic missiles are of various types and to understand the importance of upcoming trial and DRDO's roadmap for hypersonic missile development, let's try to look into them. Now there are two types of hypersonic missiles which are under development or in service with various militaries of the world. The first one is hypersonic cruise missile which is powered by an air breathing ramjet or a scramjet or dual mode ramjet which is called DMRJ engine. The second one is hypersonic glide vehicle which reach the orbit with a conventional booster before gliding towards the target. The hypersonic cruise missiles are powered throughout their flights using a scramjet engine whereas a hypersonic glide vehicle makes use of their aerodynamic shape to glide towards the target after release from a certain altitude and speed. The hypersonic glide vehicle follows zigzag trajectory during the terminal phase and not a typical parabolic path making them extremely unpredictable. At the same time, the hypersonic cruise missile has comparatively smoother path of motion but their flight altitude is much lower than hypersonic glide vehicle hence their detection in radar is nearly impossible due to Earth's curvature. Now, as we all know that DRDO has been working on developing a hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle or HST-DV which is powered by a scramjet engine and will be used to develop hypersonic cruise missile. The development of hypersonic cruise missile which is expected to be a spin-off of HST-DV will be powered by a scramjet engine and will be commenced under the project Vishnu. Recently, DRDL has released a poster with all the missiles under development by the organization which you can see on your screen. The most important of them is hypersonic cruise missile based on HST-DV and this is the first official image of HST-DV based missile in our knowledge released by DRDL. So if you look carefully, the HST-DV is mounted on a booster with six control surfaces. The booster is expected to be derived from K-4 missile rather than Agni missile which was used in HST-DV trial of 2020. On the top part of HST-DV, we can also see four control surfaces. The missile resembles Russian Zircon and Boeing X-51 Wave Rider. DRDO is working on developing advanced material for a scramjet engine which can withstand the thermodynamic stresses in the hypersonic vehicles. Now there are two different variants of hypersonic missile likely to be developed under Project Vishnu. The first one is going to be surface to surface missile with a range around 2500 km and is expected to enter service by 2024-25. The second one is going to be a smaller and compact version of air launched hypersonic cruise missile with a range in excess of 700 km that can be launched from an aircraft. 
the expected speed of these missile will range from Mach 7 to Mach 10. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.